Let's explore measurement. And who better to explore measurement with than a talking ruler? The measurements we use are from two different measurement systems, metric and customary. The metric system measures in base units such as meters, grams, and liters. They then use prefixes to represent place value. We can use this diagram of stairs to help represent the different measurements. When you move left up the stairs, the decimal moves left. When you move right down the stairs, the decimal moves right. Let's look at an example. Paula wants to send a box of apples to a friend by mail. The box of apples cannot exceed a mass of 10 kilograms. If each apple has a mass of 200 grams, what is the maximum number of apples she can send? Well, first, since our measurements are in different units, the first thing we want to do is convert so we have the same units. Let's convert 10 kilograms into grams. Since we're starting at kilograms, we want to start at the kilo step. I need to move down to the base step, which is one, two, three steps away. So I need to move my decimal point one, two, three spots to the right. That would make it 10,000 grams. Now, since each apple has a mass of 200 grams, I need to divide 10,000 divided by 200, and I get 50. So my answer is 50 apples. Let's try another. Walt grew 10 centimeters in one year. He is now 1 and 6 tenths of a meter tall. How tall was he one year ago? First, we need to convert our measurements to the same units. Let's convert 1 and 6 tenths meters into centimeters. Meters is a base unit, and to get to centimeters, I have to go down the stairs to the right one, two steps. So let's move our decimal two spots. There, we get 160 centimeters. So we know that he's now 160 centimeters, and since he grew 10 centimeters in one year, that means last year he was 160 minus 10, which is 150 centimeters. So our answer is 150 centimeters. Now let's look at some measurements in the customary system. These are measurements such as inches, feet, yards, miles for length, for mass, we have ounces, pounds, and tons. And for capacity, we have fluid ounces, pints, quarts, and gallons. Let's check out this length problem. Fabia is moving to a new house. Her old house is three miles from her new house. How many yards is the old house from the new house? Let's use this visual to help us. If we want to go from miles to yards, we need to multiply by 1,760. Therefore, 3 miles would be 3 times 1,760, which is 5,280 yards. Let's look at capacity. There's a fun way to remember capacity conversions. You just have to remember how to draw the gallon house. First, to represent gallons, you draw a giant G. Then, 4 quarts for each gallon then two pints in each quart, and two cups in each pint. This gives us a visual representation and helps us do any conversion problems involving capacity. Let's try this problem. The table shows the amount of water in cups Amanda drank each day. What is the greatest amount of water in pints Amanda drank in one day? Well, if we take a look at the table, we see that eight cups is the most amount of water Amanda drank, However, the problem's asking for pints, not cups, so we need to convert eight cups to pints. If we look at our gallon house, we see that there are two cups in each pint, and so eight cups would be four pints. So our answer is four pints. Great job, you are now a measurement master.